Hey everyone, and welcome to another Pokemon card video! Today, as you can see, we'll be doing the second Flashfire theme deck. My gameplay for the first one did not go so well on Tuesday, so hopefully we'll redeem ourselves with this one. So this one's mascot is Heliolisk, and the deck is called Brilliant Thunder. You can see right here it's a fire and electric type deck, so I don't really know how that's going to work out, but it's a pretty interesting typing, and cool to see we actually have some fire stuff here for... Well, flash fire. So we're going to go ahead and open this guy up, and then we'll take a look at the cards. Then we'll take it over to the TCG online, and we'll see how we do. So without further ado, let's go ahead and open this guy up. <laughs> well, I almost got it. I think I'm just going to go ahead and rip it open, guys. I actually have a second one of these decks that I'm going to keep closed, so I don't really mind destroying this one. I'm going to throw the box away anyways. If I could actually get these guys out of here, that'd be great. There we go. Okay, so we got those guys out. I think there was a coin. Oh, it's still under there. Okay. So here is the coin we got. This time it looks like it's an evil tall, which is pretty cool. But I think we've got quite a few evil tall coins at this point. They kind of do the same coins a lot. I think I've got, gosh dang, so many Chespin and Froakie and uh, Fennekin coins, but that's okay. I don't mind seeing the same ones a few times. Here we've got the Heliolisk. Of course, this one's going to be the Shattered Glass Pattern. Let me see if I can get a good focus on it. Yeah, look at that guy. And here's going to be the code card, but I am going to be using that. I mean, there's the code if you guys want to try, but it's not going to work because I'm going to use it in this video. Uh, here we've got a, well, the actual deck. So here's the deck box it comes with. And inside it's going to be all the cards for the deck. 60 cards, of course. We've got some card information stuff, some damage captures and status indicators, and a play mat. So if you actually want to play the game, not online, but with the actual cards, we've got that. I think they also print different art for these different play mats. So this one has a... Meowstick, you can kind of see the lower half right there, and Meowstick and a Heliolisk on it, so this is like the Flashfire art one. Um, it's kind of hard to show those off on camera, but in the future, if it's important to, enough to you guys, let me know, and I'll try to show off the actual play mats. Anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at the cards that are going to be inside. I'm guessing there will actually only be 59 cards in here since that Heliolisk was on the outside. So let's pull these guys out. What the? Why are these two cards backwards? Okay, well, there's a couple of, well, there's a few more cards right here. We've got four fire energies that were backwards for some reason. We'll just set those guys down. And let's take a quick look through here. So we've got ourselves a Buneary here. We've got Rapidash, of course. We've got to have some fire stuff. And Helioptile to go with those Heliolisks. There's a second Heliolisk, a non-holographic one, which I believe is unique to this theme deck. We've got the creepy looking Ponyta. We finally get to use that guy in some actual gameplay. And it looks like this deck's going to have Luxio. There's a Shink uh, Shinx back there as well. And Pidgey Pidgeot. Cool. I'm just hoping we actually have a Luxray as well and not just Luxio. Got some trainer cards, some Blacksmith. There's Pidgey. Okay, we've got Fletchender. So a few flying Pokemon in here as well. There's Fletchling. We've got Torkoal. Hmm. That guy might be pretty powerful. Flamethrower, flip a coin, if Tails discard an energy card. So you could lose some energy, but 80 damage for just three energies on a very basic Pokemon. That's going to be pretty great if we can get that going. I seen a couple of Pidgeotos. Did we have a Pidgeot earlier? I think we did. There's Shinx, there's Fletchender, uh, there's a Snorlax even, very nice. Let's see, what else do we have? We've got Lopunny, there's Pidgeotto again, uh, there's another Torkoal, Helioptile. At the very back we've got a Pidgey and Fletchling. I think we had a Pidgeot near the front. Now it's just Pidgeotto, so maybe we don't have Pidgeot in this one, but that's okay guys. Anyways, that's a quick little skim through the deck. Let me go put the code in online, and we'll get some gameplay. Okay, here we are over in the TCG online, and we've got the little bouncing dude again here. So we've got our daily reward, and I think we're going to get a free booster pack right here. And it looks like we got a Furious Fist booster pack. Now, you can use this to adjust your actual decks. I'll go ahead and open it just to see what we have, but I'm probably not going to adjust any of the decks here. So I think to open it, we go over to the collection here, and then we go to uh, packs, and there we go. So we click on it, click on the open button, and let's go ahead and rip the top off right there. And see so what we got inside our Furious Fist pack. We had to log in for five days just to get this guy. Got a couple of new cards for my collection, and our rare is going to be a Machamp. Not bad. All right, so let's go ahead and click done here. And let's see, let's go, let me go enter my code real quick. Okay, so I went and added the theme deck, now I just gotta actually find it. So there's my Mystic Typhoon deck, where is my Brilliant Thunder deck? Okay, so it's sorted alphabetically, so there we go, there's Brilliant Thunder. It's got normal fire and electric force, let's go ahead and hit play. See how long it takes us to find an opponent, hopefully it's pretty quick, and it looks like it was! Okay, so we're gonna be up against Pikachu Thune. I don't know if that's somehow related to Cthune from World of Warcraft, but... I gotta call the head, uh, coin flip. Let's go ahead and call tails. And it is heads, so we lose the coin flip right there, so they get to choose who goes first. I don't particularly care if they choose me or not. I don't really know enough about the Pokemon TCG to know if going first or second is better. 
Let's see. Please wait while your opponent chooses an active Pokemon. Okay. And then we get to choose our active Pokemon. We can choose Pidgey. Before doing damage, discard all Pokemon tool cards attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. Not bad. I don't know what kind of deck they have, so I don't know if they're going to have something that's going to deal electric or anything. Here we've got uh, Helioptile. But Helioptile, I'm going to want to turn into Heliolisk. So I think we're going to start off with our Pidgey right here. And I'll go ahead and put the Helioptile on the bench. Uh, I don't really have any electric energies for it right now. But we'll just set that down. And there we go! Okay, they're going to start off with a Slugma, so it looks like they've got a Fire deck right here. Fennekin on the bench as well. Let's see, I think I'm going to go ahead and play some Roller Skates action. What does my Blacksmith do? Attach two Fire Energy cards from your Discoil to one, uh, one of your Pokemon. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and put one of the Electric Energies on my Pidgey. And I can't actually attack here, can I? Uh, no, so I can just stay right here. What is Pokemon Fan Club? Search your deck for up to two basic Pokemon. Not too worried about that. I guess we'll go ahead and look for some energy cards right here. I'm going to get an electric, and we'll get a fire as well. Just keep things balanced right here. So there we go. And I'm going to shuffle my deck, and we'll go ahead and end our turn here since we can't attack. And we don't have any energies in the discard pile, so using Blacksmith, kind of pointless, and I don't have any fire Pokemon anyways. And it looks like they're going to go ahead and power up a little bit here, so next turn they'll be able to do Combustion. That'll take three turns to take me down. So I've already got Pidgey powered up, so I'm going to go ahead and power up Helioptile this time. And what is Evo Soda? Search your deck for a card that evolves from one of your Pokemon and put it onto that Pokemon. Shuffle your deck afterwards. That is going to be awesome to get Helioptile, although I could get Pidgeotto. So let's go ahead and play this and see what we want to get here. There's Heliolisk. Uh, do we have any Pidgeotto in the deck here? Pidgeotto might straight up only be in my, uh, my prize cards. Oh, there's one right there. Oh, we do have Pidgeot in this deck. I must have missed it when we were looking through it earlier, but looks like Pidgeotto's not to be seen here at all, so that is a little unfortunate. I guess Pidgeotto's going to be in the prize cards, so we'll go ahead and choose Heliolisk. There we go. Let's we'll hit done, and it's going to go on to our Helioptile right there. Okay, there we go. So to actually use this guy, we're going to need to get three uh, energies on them to do some good stuff, so we're going to go ahead and peck off right here. And we can't attach any more energies this turn, so it's my opponent's turn now. Let's see what they do here. They're probably going to power up. Oh my gosh. Or they're going to go to a Mag Cargo. What can they do with two energies? You may discard the top. I missed it. I wasn't able to read it there. Okay, so they can discard a card from their deck. If it's a fire energy, it's going to do 50 more damage. So that will kill me. So they're going to discard a Super Potion. I got lucky there. But with that said, next turn they are going to kill my Pidgey. That's not good. Let's see. What can I do with this guy? Hmm... Not a whole lot, actually. So I think what we're going to do is go ahead and power up my Heliolisk a little bit. I think I'll also put this guy down. I can power that up if I need to. Uh, I guess we're just going to go ahead and attack with Peck off right here. I could retreat to try to save him, but I just don't know if that's really worthwhile. Because then I'll just take a big hit on Heliolisk. Heliolisk can do some decent damage, but he's not going to really be taking too many big hits. If he gets powered up enough to do Heat Blast, he'll take me out in two swings. So... We do not want that. Now, if I get Quick Attack and get the heads, it'll do 90. 90 plus the 20 we've already dealt, that'll take out Mag Cargo. So if we get lucky, we can take him down pretty easily here. But let's see what they decide to do this turn. I'm guessing they're going to go for a Magma Mantle. But, or maybe they'll just go for the 80 just to, just to rub it in my face. Yeah, they're going to go for a Heat Blast. Okay, so Pidgey's dead here. Let's see. Yeah, I'm just going to go for Heliolisk and just hope we get a heads on that Quick Attack. I guess they're just drawing a prize card real quick. And yeah, out goes Heliolisk. We've got plenty of energy cards for them. I'm going to go ahead and play this guy. Actually, I'll save the fire. Well, Fletchinder only needs one. I don't think we have Talonflame, so I'll play the fire right here just so I have one of each left. And let's go for... Uh, I could play a Pokemon Fan Club. I just don't know what I would actually really look for. I guess we'll go ahead and play one just because, but I don't really feel strongly about any of this. Oh... Uh, Ooh, I could get Torkoal. That'll actually be pretty handy. Let's get Torkoal and Snorlax. That's actually going to be pretty awesome right there. Okay. So there's that. And I think I'm just going to go for the quick attack. Hopefully we get heads. Come on! Dang it, dude. We got tails. So this guy's going to survive another turn. He's going to be able to do 80 damage. If he's got any attacks or anything that's going to buff up his attack, he'll be able to one-shot me. And that is not good. He's already powering up Ponyta. He might have Rapidash like we have. Let's see, what does that do? I think that makes him take less damage, not necessarily deal more. Let's see if I can actually see that. Any damage done to this Pokemon card is attached to, uh, is reduced by 20. So I think we'll still take him out, actually. 
Ooh, Pokemon said to Lady, heal 60 damage and remove all special conditions from one of your Pokemon. Yes, please. Let's go ahead and do that and heal up our Heliolisk just a little bit here. And I'm also going to... Uh, I think I'm going to play Torkoal. And we're going to go ahead and start powering up Torkoal here. And let's go for quick attack. I think heads or tails, this will still kill him, right? We got heads anyways. So that goes my cargo down. We're doing pretty good here, guys. So my car goes down. Let's draw our first prize card. And we got a fire energy. So that could be great for our Torkoal here. He's going to send out Ponyta. We can one-shot that unless he goes to Rapidash here. Or unless he has Heart Charm. Okay, and out comes the Rapidash. Let me say, don't show this again. And he's going to go for agility. I think that means if heads, I can't actually attack him here. Let's see. So he shuffles his hand in. Tails, I think he draws four cards. Yeah, okay. Hard Charm. Oh, gosh. This Rapidash might be deadly. And he's going to go for Overrun, not for Agility. But I wish I could actually read what this does. Okay, Overrun. So it hits for 40 and does 20 to one of my benched Pokemon. So next turn, he's going to be able to take out Heliolisk. I don't think I can take him out because he's got that Hard Charm. So let's see. What am I going to do here? I guess we'll just keep powering up this Torkoal and hope things work out with that. And let's just go for an attack, I guess. There we go. We got Tails, so it's only going to do 40 damage because he's got that hard charm on. So this is going to be a tough Pokemon to take down. But I think that I think we can take it out with Torkoal next turn, even if we uh, get a Tails, because Tails just discards, right? Uh, yeah, so discards an energy card. Oh, but he's got Bryxen, so as soon as I take out one threat, he's already got another one back there. So we are going to lose Heliolisk this time. And we're going to have 20 more damage on Torkoal as well. Oh, he's got Blacksmith, so he's going to put two Fire Energies probably directly onto this guy. Yep, we've got a lot of threats to deal with here. Fire Tail Slap, ouch. So he's going to do 40 here, probably 20 onto Torkoal here. I don't know if this deck has the second Pokemon Center Lady, but if it does, I really, really need that. Okay, so he's going to draw a second prize card. We're going to put Torkoal out. We can take this guy out with a Flamethrower. Just got to hope I don't discard a card. Let's see, we've got Pidgeot, but I don't have any Pidgey. I can go with fish for a Pidgey, but I think I'm just going to go ahead and play out... Uh, we'll play out Snorlax right here. But I'm going to power up Torkoal this time, and we're going to go for a Flamethrower. Let's see how that does. So it does 60. Of course, we... Oh, we got heads. Okay, so we don't discard a card, and we get to draw a second prize. And there's the Pidgeot we were looking for. So I can use Pokemon Fan Club, get a Pidgey, and start working towards Pidgeot, which is going to be awesome. Okay, so he's got Bryxen. I can take that out in one swing, so unless he can take out my Torkoal, we're fine. And he can't take out Torkoal unless he's got some kind of way to power up this Bryxen. If he's got Delphox, that's kind of scary. But that's going to do 40 damage. Does he have anything he can play? No, that's it! I think we just won, guys! Okay, so we just go do Flamethrower. That's it, right? Uh, Let's just attack it. I think we won. Okay, there we go, guys! That's going to be a Tails. We'll have to discard a card. That's kind of unfortunate, but it does not really matter because... Because he has no bench Pokemon, we automatically win. So that is going to be a victory, guys. All right. So redeeming ourselves from our loss on Tuesday. Did a little bit better this time. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. I don't know when the next actual gameplay will be. I think it'll be sometime with the new Pokemon set coming out. So maybe in a couple of weeks we'll have that. Anyways, guys, I am losing my voice right now. I'm going to go ahead and go get some tea to let it rest a little bit. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care.